What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we're diving into an interesting topic, man. Some stuff that I wanted to get into today, but also, I just want to put this out. Later today, we're going to have another upload because Ringside Collectibles actually posted this photo on their Instagram page, teasing a Ringside Collectibles exclusive, and I, I put a comment on that video or on that post on Instagram, and I did say this has to be the Outsiders reveal, right? I mean, they've been teasing it for so long. We've known about it for a while now, the next Ringside exclusive two-pack. You know, we had the Usos last year. We have the Outsiders coming this year, and then I made a prediction that maybe we'll get a Dudley Boys Ultimate Edition 2-pack. Now, that's just all a prediction. That is not a spoiler. That is just a prediction that I made this this past year, My uh, some, some Ultimates that I expect to see in 2024, some wants. However, today we are going to get a reveal of possible, whatever this is. I don't know what this is. Again, I have no idea. I'm just guessing that this is going to be the Outsiders 2-pack reveal, and I'm guessing we'll have a brand new gallery of images of the Ringside exclusive. Maybe there'll be new figures, but this this is another interesting topic. Not only are they going to be revealing that Ringside exclusive 2-pack today, so come back later on when they actually reveal this to us, but also there was another post. I don't know where the hell this was. I looked on Instagram. I couldn't find it, but it, it was going around. It was getting shared around here, but it was this Mattel Creations revealed event that's going to be happening, and I have no idea what that's about. Now, it's very interesting because you, not only today, the time you're seeing this video, not the time of recording this, but at the, the time that you're seeing this video, today they're actually revealing the Ringside Exclusive, which again, I do believe is going to be the Outsiders 2-pack with new images. We're going to get, we're going to again get on here and cover all that and dive into all the lore of it and dissect all of it. However, also, this reveal event, we have that coming later on this month, but then even 10 days later or so, or two weeks later, we're going to have more reveals at WrestleMania World or whatever the hell that event is at WrestleMania. It's like WrestleMania Access where they reveal a bunch of stuff. You guys know last year I was there, they revealed a shish to, It was ridiculous. It was like 15, 16 Ultimate Editions or something like that. I did a whole post on it. I don't even remember. It maybe it was nine Ultimate Editions or something like that that they revealed last year. So I completely think that at this year's WrestleMania, it's going to be similar to a Comic-Con event. Maybe not to that level, but last year at WrestleMania, they revealed a shish ton. And then they, you know, they went on top of that at San Diego Comic-Con. So it's a bit, within the next 30 days, we're going to see a lot of brand new WWE action figures and reveals. And I can't wait for it. We're going to cover it all here on the channel, of course. We're going to dive into all the lore, and I'll take you guys through all the details of it, give you guys my personal thoughts and opinions on all of it. However, man, with all that being said, today I kind of wanted to, I, I, I tried my best to think of a full-fledged video. This is why it's kind of bunched with a bunch of stuff here. I tried to think of as many as I could. And I could really only come up with two, man. I came up with two hot takes that are my personal WWE action figure opinions as it stands with Mattel. And I tried to think of more, and maybe I do have more, uh, you know, off the top of my dome. Maybe you guys can let me know down in the comment section below off my reviews and stuff. I know I say a lot of stuff in my reviews, talk about things that I don't like, trends I don't like, parts choices and things of that nature that I do not like from Mattel WWE action figures in my videos all the time. However, it, maybe I've forgotten some, but I have two hot takes, I guess, quote-unquote hot takes, that I'm going to talk about in this video. And I want to know personally, down in the comment section below, what you and your hot takes are. And again, maybe that could be a... That would actually be a good video. Tell me right now. Leave me your hot takes for wrestling or WWE Mattel specifically action figures down in the comment section below. And maybe we can make a video reacting to your hot takes. And maybe I agree with them. Maybe they're, you know, they're just ludicrous, whatever, and I can get on and actually react to those in real time in a video. So we'll, we'll talk about that, man. But I have two today that I want to dive into, and you guys can let me know what you think of it. Do you think it's, you, you just let me know. You let me know. Again, I tried to think of more, but at the, uh, I just couldn't, man. I sat there and I, I feel like we're in an era now where just WWE Mattel figures are at just an insane level right now. And so, nonetheless, man, let's go ahead and dive into it, and let's get into it. Starting out with my number one hot take of WWE X figures. These are not in any order. I just tried to think of a list. I was trying to get the five, and I could really only come up with two, but you guys can let me know what you think, man. Starting out, we have this right here, this take here. Daniel Bryan Elite Torso should be retired. The Daniel Bryan Elite Torso, man. I talk about this all the damn time, man. All the damn time. You know, this is something that I've said for years. It's something that I've talked about a lot, man. The Daniel Bryan Elite Torso, man doesn't really work for anybody. There's like a 
couple guys, maybe, and we're going to get into that, man. I just think that this torso is so small, and they've used it on so many characters. Daniel Bryan is who I use for it. That's the guy, you know, he's the, he's not the initial person they used for this torso. However, he is the guy I kind of dubbed that for because it's just, the, I don't know, it's the first guy that I think of when I think of the Daniel Bryan torso, you know. I think that this torso really only works in modern day for maybe a couple people, and those two people are maybe like CM Punk. I think CM Punk's figures are okay the way they are. They're not, you know, egregious or anything like that. And then I think Sami Zayn also can work for it. But the thing is, is I don't think that it's a must-have. I think you could easily retire this torso and then, you know, use the, the damn Matt Hardy torso or the Usos Elite torso. See, they put the damn Daniel Bryan torso on the Usos Elites and it made them look worse. So that's just, that's, this is a whole other thing, which I don't understand why they switched the torso anyway on the Usos. You but know, this Daniel Bryan torso is not good. They used it on Edge, way too small for Edge. Edge needs a Terry Funk torso. Hell, again, even the Matt Hardy torso. And then later on, when he returned, when he was shredded, they could have easily given this man the damn Cesaro torso from Elite Series 23. I made multiple fix-ups of it. It was beautiful. It's it's so beautiful. I don't know why they did that. That That's a perfect fix-up right there. But yeah, the Daniel Bryan torso is just not good, man. It's just not good. doesn't work on a lot of people. I think for Daniel Bryan, you could even give him the Terry Funk torso. I mean, it doesn't matter now because he's not there. But, you know, um, on edge, never worked for him. He's gone now, too, so that doesn't really matter. But you know what I mean? I think the Daniel Bryan torso, man, that's my... I don't even know if this is a hot take, but this is certainly one of my ta my takes that I'm passionate about. This is a passionate take right here. I just have never liked the Daniel Bryan torso, man. And I just think that it could go away and nobody would really... I think we could all sleep well at night. This is another part of it. AJ Styles, for so many years, man, they used that that Daniel Bryan torso on AJ Styles. And I used to say, this is just... It's just not good, man. It's not good until I find finally said, you know what, this this needs to be a public post, made a public post about it, and they actually did switch it to the Sin Cara torso, which looked just ridiculously better, to a point where now I'm excited for AJ Styles figures, I love AJ Styles, I think he's fantastic, used to not even be ready for his figures, used to be like, God in heaven, it's good, I love AJ Styles, and I love the gears that they're making and stuff, but the figure just isn't what it could be because of the torso choice that they were using, so, the you know, making that switch to the Sin Cara torso, one of my favorite things Mattel's ever done, man, that upgrade is ridiculous, but yeah, Daniel Bryan Torso, man, should be retired. That's my first hot take here, and then my second hot take, I don't know, it's it's not completely, you know, I, I, let's just dive into it, man. The second one is a statement, WWE Elites can be better than Ultimates, and some would argue, there's some people out there that would tell you all the way that WWE Elites are superior to Ultimate Editions, you know, they can't get past the Ultimate Edition torsos mainly. I know there are a, there's a lot of people out there that actually convert every Elite they get into an Ultimate, or they make Ultimate Ultimate editions. You know, I'm I'm not that person. I think that elites are fine. I, I like elites the way they are. The only thing I prefer with Ultimate Editions really is you know, you're it's a ten dollar or fifteen dollar increase in price. It's usually ten bucks, I think it is. You get a slew more accessories and stuff, but a lot of people will tell you they don't like the drop down hips. They'll say, you know, the, the drop down hips are are annoying, they get loose and whatnot and things of that nature, and then they have no ab crunch. The ab crunch on Ultimate Editions isn't that great, man, and elites are have a much better ab crunch. However, on the flip side of that, you could say, you know, elites don't have butterfly joints. And a lot of people are like, I don't really care for butterfly joints. But me personally, I do enjoy butterfly joints. But the drop down hips and the ways those go, I would say is is something that, you know, gets on my nerves sometimes. So I don't know. That, that, that one, see, that's not even a complete take right there. It's more of like, it could be a case where elites are better than ultimates. But there are a lot of people out there that do believe that ultimate editions are less than than elites. And they prefer elites over ultimate editions. I'm actually curious to see where you guys stand on that down in the comment section below. So that's why I said it's not quite like, oh, I'm I'm planting my flag and the elites are better than Ultimate Editions because I feel like it just kind of varies depending on the diff different things, right? So, and it's not, it's kind of comparing apples to oranges because Ultimate Editions have a lot more bells and whistles and then elites, you know, they don't have as many accessories. They don't have different things like that. And it seems that Ultimate Editions do get that ultimate quote unquote treatment in which they get the added addition of, you know, interchangeable heads they always come with a championship most of the time they get cloth goods and all these things or you know sometimes you get interchangeable jacket arms you can make a two-in-one figure sometimes uh sometimes even three in one if you're counting the elixir bliss figure so there are definitely some good great things about ultimate editions over
for elite figures, but I think that sometimes elites are better than ultimate editions in certain cases, man. I'd like to know what you think down in the comment section below on that one, but that's pretty much it for my for my hot takes right there, man. I don't have a laundry list of hot takes. Again, I tried to I tried to think of some. I again, I may have some that I mentioned in videos that I've forgotten about right here, but I I could not think of them for whatever reason. I did my best. I sat there and I tried to write it down. Obviously, like I don't think it's a hot take to say the John Cena shoe mold, the elite John Cena shoe mold is garbage. I don't think that's really a hot take. You know, the Ultimate Edition shoes are also quite garbage as well most of the time, you know, depending on how they just knew we need new shoe molds, right? I mean, that's that's going without saying. I've mentioned that in many videos. I don't like the Usos elite pants. I think they're too stiff and they combine with the the pant uh, combine those pants with some shoes and it gets really iffy there. There's a whole different thing like that. So yeah, I didn't want to include those because I feel like those are, they kind of go without saying. So, you know, there's that. But uh, yeah, I would like to know down in the comment section below if you guys have personal hot takes when it comes to WWE action figures or whatnot. I would like to know. And then again, I, I kind of wanted to get into the basics too. I was like, you know, I don't really know what I'd say about basics because it, it, it they've kind of fixed those problems. You know, I it would be... Um, you know, old basics are better than new basics. I feel like that really wasn't even a hot take because a lot of people agree with that. So, and maybe you guys feel that my uh, hot takes here today aren't really hot takes. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below. But yeah, I wanted to get on here and talk a little bit about it because so sometimes I get ideas in my head that I want to discuss and then hear the feedback down in the comment section below. So you guys can do that, man. But look out later today, man. We're going to have some news. We're going to have some good stuff going on, some reveals and whatnot. And we're going to get on here and discuss it and dissect it. But nonetheless, man, I am getting out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate you fellas over there, man. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support. But I think that is going to wrap the video for today. Again, look out later. Going to be a double upload day. Can't wait to see exactly what the figure is. Maybe it'll be a brand new figure that we've never seen. Maybe it'll be something epic. And I hope, even if it's just the Outsiders 2 pack, I look forward to actual images of those figures, man. But nonetheless, I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'm my name, Toys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. Yeah.